have a Q and A. Are y'all ready? All right, Kyle and Evan, where the fuck did all of this come from? Uh, do you want me to try? Do you want to? You can tell them. Hey guys. Uh, uh, I think by uh, on New Year's Day, 2019. Um, After a night of celebrating New Year's Eve with Evan and, and, and our friends, uh, I texted Evan about there should be a movie about uh, two kids going to a party on Y2K, December 31st, 1999, and it goes bad, and some of the things you see on screen happen, and, I, and Evan said... Uh, I, well, I, I woke up very hungover to this text. And, Congratulations, uh, man. Yeah, kind of through my... Stupor, I, I just read this text and it was kind of a fully formed idea <laughs> right there in like a single, a single text and I was like, yeah, let's do it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and now my fam is here. Awesome. <laughs> it happened so quickly, so but easily. I'm not, I, I, Y2K was such a letdown if you lived it and if you, and so it was uh, fun to get to uh, reimagine it. For the people that were on the stage in Y2K, what were you doing? Were you taking shelter? Were you partying like fucking crazy on Y2K? I was, I was 13, you're probably 14, right? So I, I think that was probably the last year I, I stayed at home and watched uh, Dick Clark and the ball drop with my family before I started going to parties. Yeah, Fred, what were you, what were you doing? <laughs> Dude, are you trolling me? <laughs> Like, How would that be a troll? <laughs> I mean, this is the A24 24th year celebration of surviving Y2K, right? <laughs> That's what this is? What the fuck is going on here? Is this like, <laughs> we're all survivors, right? Respect. I mean, respect. 8, 24, 24 right. years later, 2.2K. Tw <laughs> That's that right, you were in Video MD on. Um, right. You played the show at Crawford yeah. Arena. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Who, what? You, you guys told me that this was the 24th year celebration of life. Like that math has to be bad. <laughs> what, what is this? It's 2024. What the fuck are we doing up here? Um, celebrating you, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I want to know for the actors on the stage who were not alive during Y2K, what was the most interesting thing that you learned or what did you do to prepare yourself for this deep cut of nostalgia? It's, it's only like 20 years, it's not that deep of a cut. Yeah. I mean, were you, you were alive? Were all of you alive? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I, I came across a YouTube video from my friend Curtis Connor where he watched a VHS tape. Yeah. Mayor Curtis. Um, yeah, and he was watching a VHS tape of a survival guide for Y2K, and I thought this is the most fucking bizarre thing. But I also lived through 2012, so mass hysteria is no, I'm no stranger to that. We all bought into 2012 as well. We were all very disappointed that this didn't happen for some yeah. reason. Yeah, the world's kind of in a perpetual state. Ending, so I feel like it's not really that, it, it wasn't that far in to be like, oh, the world's ending, I wonder how that would feel, so. <laughs> I think I'm more, maybe made more of the 90s vibes of everything. Uh, how much Limp Bizkit did you listen to, or it was already your favorite band, was that from you? I, well, Fred knows this, I genuinely think you hung the moon, so it was not that hard. I used to listen to a lot of Limp Bizkit, and I never in a million years that that would like work out well for my career <laughs> and then I got this role and they and I remember Kyle was like hey so you should probably like start listening to like some more biscuit because like you should probably know you know some things about it and I was like bestie <laughs> <laughs> I, I already I already know you don't have to get ready if you stay ready you know? <laughs> so it was really it was really fun my I like interest. these nihilistic vibes Anybody else? Were you just fully ready to dive in, or did you do anything to kind of prep up for your 90s vibe? Yeah, like, uh, read the script. <laughs> <laughs> read the script, hung out with these guys, talked to Carl and Evan, and kind of just 
Ja, das ist echt nicht so. Ja. Ja. Alright, well for y'all, what was the most fun period detail in the film for you? Or what's like the deepest kind of nostalgia maybe not everybody would have noticed? Deepest cut. Uh, I mean, I thought going into it tonight that y'all got me talking like Tipper Gore was about yeah. as deep as cut as you could get. <laughs> I guess people remember Tipper Gore. That's out of life, am I wrong? Correct. Okay. <laughs> I have to think about it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Herbal Essence, I don't know like, if those like, uh, commercials are as relevant as they once were, but that's something that felt a little niche, maybe. I certainly haven't heard that phrase Herbal Essence in a long time. Cool, we should sidebar about <laughs> 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 All right, can we can we talk a little bit about the porta potty scene and, and what the vibes were? Rachel's in the favorite scene. Yeah, do we have to? <laughs> it was so like the fake shit. Let's just nip it in the bud. The fake shit was hot chocolate mix with glycerin, so it smelled amazing. <laughs> and it was really confusing to shoot that, but you can see lovely Jaden Martell here was covering my ear because I kept talking about how I didn't want water in my ear. So, and, and Evan kept saying like, get your hand off her ear, we can't see her face. But the take that got used was Jaden protecting my ear and it, it, it fit very, good job, buddy. <laughs> I think I was actually yelling, douse her, douse her. Douse her, <laughs> douse her, more glycerin. Yeah. Tastes good too. Did it taste good? Did you try it? Why? <laughs> it was unavoidable because you have to like look panicked and so then usually that comes with being like ah but then you've got like you've got camera guys like throwing pieces yeah. of camera phone cup covered in like yeah, yeah. like throwing it was them it was crazy though because it was a, it was a porta potty on its side on shocks yeah so it was actually bouncing like up and down camera guys like shimmying it yeah <laughs> Very fun, very fun. It was actually like really Ooh, silly and very fun, yeah. Was that the most challenging part of making this film? Or what, what was the biggest challenge for y'all when executing? I feel like we thought that part was fun. Yeah, that was, I feel, yeah, we had two takes in the port body. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The jam was a lot to handle, I would say. Um, a lot of extras. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. Uh, but it was so fun. Once seeing our crew come together, but also having Fred perform Faith in front of all those folks, like it was a very surreal moment, like talking to these background actors and um, trying to and lead, lead Fred them in the lyrics Lachlan of Faith. Performing Faith. What's that? Fred and Lachlan performing. Yes, Lachlan on the guitar. You killed it, Lachlan. Was anyone in this film based on people that you know or knew before the end of? I, I would like to think it's um, it's a little piece of all of us. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely. I feel like these were folks that either are us or that we we grew up with for sure. Yeah, I grew up with a lot of white guys with dreads. <laughs> um, and I incidentally grew up with Rachel Zegler. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was perfect casting. Yeah, Aww, I love you, uh, yeah no, we, we definitely like we're pulling from just folks that we used to see running around high school and stuff. Yeah. You captured it perfectly. Oh. Yeah. Um, another audience question um, that someone thought that the edit was one of the most fun aspects. What was the process of working through putting all of this fun footage together? Well, we got. It. Mr. David Marks in the house. God, to shout out our editor, David Marks. Stan Matthew Miller, assistant editor. Stephen Fine, our, our uh, post supervisor. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It, there was a lot of work, I would say. Like, we were still finding the movie deep into the edit, so, like, uh, there was writing happening up until, I feel like, three or four weeks ago, probably. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully it worked out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, it was a lot of Kyle, myself, David, sitting in a room, trying things. I think Kyle comes from a comedy world where I think uh, you really are just 
honing the joke, refining it, and working on scenes over and over. Uh, and so there's things that we tried that worked out on the, the first pass, and there are things that we thought were gonna work great and just didn't hit, yeah. you know, in the first go, and it just like kept going and kept going. I will, yeah, and I, I will say like, um, maybe goes without saying, but it makes, it all so much easier when like these are the folks that you're working with and like everything is good. So like you just already know from moment one when you start watching this footage that uh, it's gonna turn out pretty awesome. So we were truly so fortunate to have, have, have these people like bring it to life and do a, a, a job that we couldn't have even dreamed of. You know? All right. Um, I think we're gonna wrap it up, but if you had to describe your experience on this film in the 90s in one word, literally one, what would it be? Experience in the 90s? Yeah, what do you think of the 90s in one oh, word? Oh, what do I think of the 90s? Or, the, or making the film. Oh, okay, those are two different questions. <laughs> one word? Tell me what well, you know, one word question. for making the film. A one word for making the film. Um, <sighs> do you wanna go first? I might want to uh, brainstorm right there. Oh, okay. Oh, Julian's got a great one. Julian, go. Fun. Oh. <laughs> oh. Julian, did you, did you know when you read the script that you would end up being like the inspiration for their journey to save the world? Uh, yes, because I did read the script. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. This guy can read. It's a very heartfelt film. I think like every death was like, oh, it's so sad, and then I put out a condom, and then CJ starts uh, rapping, and I was just very, yeah. yeah. Yes. You knew, you knew you were gonna be the love of every life. I love this confidence. It's literally the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fred, how did it feel to have proof that your music would literally save the fucking world in this film? <laughs> Are you guys fucking with me? <laughs> it's the 24th anniversary, baby! Yeah, yeah 24th anniversary! We're survivors! Let's hear it! For Kyle and We're not talking that. I don't think we are. Thank you for coming out with this.